Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the application of moment method for estimation of the parameters of beta binomial distribution. So, the probability mass function of this beta binomial distribution is given by px of x is equal to that is n is the number of values that is n c x and then gamma of alpha plus beta divided by gamma of alpha into gamma of beta and then gamma of x plus alpha and then gamma of n minus x plus beta and then divided by gamma of alpha plus beta plus n so that is the probability mass function for beta binomial distribution so given this distribution and given n data points that is n uh, values of the random variable x we want to find the unknown parameters alpha and beta so from theory or on previous videos we know that the mean value of the random variable x is given by n into alpha by alpha plus beta and then similarly the variance of the random variable x is defined as n into alpha beta multiplied by alpha plus beta plus n and then divided by alpha plus beta whole squared and then alpha plus beta plus 1 so that is the variance of the random variable x that follows a beta bi binomial distribution now from sample values that is from given n data points uh, capital n data points or uh, n samples uh, the value of the sample mean x bar is again 1 by n summation over i i equal to 1 to n x i and similarly the sample variance is given by 1 by n summation over i i equal to 1 to n x i minus the sample mean whole squared so these are the values from the data and these are the values from the theory that is the mean and the variance now by equating these results we can uh, evaluate the unknown parameters or estimate the unknown parameters alpha and beta so from this uh, mean value and the sample mean we, by equating them we have n into alpha by alpha plus beta is equal to x bar let us call this equation 1 and similarly by equating the variances we have n into alpha beta multiplied by alpha plus beta plus n divided by alpha plus beta whole squared and then alpha plus beta plus 1 this value is equal to sample variance now our goal is to find the unknown values alpha and beta so from next from equation 1 we can infer that uh, we can use basically the following relations that is alpha by alpha plus beta can be defined as x bar by n and then alpha plus beta as n into alpha by x bar and finally beta as alpha into n by x bar minus 1 so we can substitute all these relations in equation 2 and we can solve for the unknown parameters that is by substituting these three results in equation 2 we have the following so first thing is we have alpha by alpha plus beta so we have n times alpha by alpha plus beta which is x bar minus divided by n and then we have beta that is alpha times n by x bar minus 1 and then we have n and then we have alpha by alpha plus beta and then we have beta and then we have alpha plus beta plus n divided by alpha plus beta and alpha plus beta plus 1 means we will have n alpha by x bar plus n this is for alpha plus beta plus n and then in the denominators we have first one is alpha plus beta which is basically n alpha by x bar and then alpha plus beta plus 1 that means n alpha by x bar plus 1 and this should be equal to the sample variance sx so these n's go away and these alphas go away and upon simplification of this result upon simplification we have n alpha plus n into x bar divided by n alpha plus x bar and then n minus x bar divided by n and then finally x bar is equal to the sample variance 
now by gathering all the terms that have that have alpha and then gathering the rest of the terms separately we get the following equation that is alpha times n x bar into n minus x bar now this equation can be rewritten as follows that is this equation can be rewritten as follows that is n times alpha times n minus x bar and then we have another x bar and the second term is n x bar squared multiplied by n minus x bar and on the right side we have alpha into n into s x that is the sample variance plus uh, we have actually n squared alpha into n square into sample variance plus n into x bar into the sample variance now we take this term to the left side we have alpha times n x bar into n minus x bar and then minus n squared sample variance and then on the right side we have n times x bar into sample variance minus n times x bar squared into n minus x bar so now upon simplification of this equation we get the estimates for the parameters alpha and beta that is for the alpha the estimate is given by x bar multiplied by n x bar minus x bar square that is sample mean square minus the sample variance and then the denominator we have n times the sample va variance plus the sample mean square minus n times the sample mean that is the estimate of the parameter alpha and from the this relation beta equals to alpha times n by x bar minus 1 we also have the estimate for beta that is beta hat will be n minus x bar multiplied by n x bar minus x bar squared minus the sample variance and then the same denominator that is n times the sample variance plus x bar squared minus n times the sample mean so these are the estimates of the parameters alpha and beta so in this video we have looked at the moment method based estimation of the parameters of beta binomial distribution so the probability mass function for this beta binomial is given by this expression and the mean value for the random variable x is given by n alpha by alpha plus beta and then variance is given by n alpha beta into alpha plus beta plus n divided by alpha plus beta square alpha plus beta plus 1 and we also have the results for uh, we also have expressions for the sample mean and sample variance now we equate these different values that is we equate the sample mean and the actual mean there is a theoretical mean so we have n alpha by alpha plus beta equal to x bar this is equation one and then we also have the sample variance equals to uh, the theoretical variance so theoretical variance is given by is equal to sample variance now by using the equation one we can have few relations that is alpha by alpha plus beta is x bar by n alpha plus beta is n alpha by x bar and beta is alpha times n by x bar minus one so we substitute these relations or these uh, definitions in equation two and then we get an expression uh, in which we only have alpha and then uh, this n x bar and sample variance so by simplifying this expression basic algebra we get the expression for the parameter alpha that is the estimate of alpha is given by the sample mean into this ratio where the numerator is n x bar n times sample mean minus square of the sample mean minus the sample variance in the denominator we have n times sample variance plus x bar squared minus n times the sample mean similarly the estimate for beta is given by the estimate of alpha multiplied by n minus x bar by n n minus x bar by x bar so that is the estimate for beta thus we have derived the movement method based estimates of the parameters alpha and beta of a beta binomial distribution thanks for watching